On news track, uh, we start off with a meeting between President Uhuru Kenyatta and his Somali counterpart, Mohamed Farmajo, who is expected uh, to, they both are expected to address the press any minute now in State House uh, here in Nairobi. We are on standby. We will be bringing you that address live. Remember, this is the first state visit for the Somalian president since he was elected president just a few weeks back or a month ago. And uh, he will be engaging, or he is currently engaging, with the President Uhuru Kenyatta on different topics that we are uh, quite uh, privy to. And we will be bringing you more details, even as uh, they are expected to get out of those wooden doors any minute now to address members of the press. Those are live pictures we are bringing you from the State House here in Nairobi. The two presidents have been engaging all morning and they are expected to tell members of the press or tell the country what exactly are some of the resolutions they've made. Remember, there's an IGAD summit over the weekend. The Somalian president is also expected to attend that. There's an array of issues, starting with security, that is dogging both the Kenyan uh, government as well as the Somalia government. All right, so they are out now. President Uhuru Kenyatta with his Somalian counterpart, President Mohamed Farmajo, ready to address the press. Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo is the newly elected president of Somalia. This is his first state visit. Let's just cross over there and listen in to what President Uhuru Kenyatta is saying. Official visit. To which I was pleased to attend. It is also a pleasure to return the honor by hosting President Muhammad here in Nairobi. And we say, as we say in Swahili, Karibu Sana, Nairobi. President Mohammed is no stranger. He has previously served his country as a diplomat and also as prime minister. Kenya, like Somalia, is grateful for the diligence and skill with which he handled his heavy responsibilities as prime minister. And we welcome him to Kenya, not only as a new president, but an old friend. And one proof of this is the celebration that broke out here in Kenya on the announcement of his election result. He visits here today to give our joint agenda a fresh start. That agenda is very clear. On a bilateral level, we have agreed to revitalize our engagement in all areas of mutual interest within the context of a reactivated joint commission of cooperation. In particular, we agreed to take the following actions. Within the shortest possible time, open two border posts in Doble Liboy and Mandera Bulahawa, and to facilitate the movement of people, goods, and services. So ladies and gentlemen, when people are talking about us putting up a wall, here we are opening borders. <laughs> Kenya, Kenya committed to train within our institutions and at government cost 200 teachers, 200 nurses, and 100 Somali administrators. Indeed, to support the enhancement of technical skills necessary for rehabilitation upon return of the refugees, Kenya will establish a technical training institute for youths currently in the refugee camps, as well as the environs of Dadaab. And this, I believe, will greatly help in providing these young men and women the necessary skills that they will require to develop and grow Somalia. 
We've also directed the security teams from both countries to meet immediately and agree on modalities of relaunching direct flights between Nairobi and Mogadishu. And this is to happen with the first flight being within two weeks. We agreed also that forthwith there will be no visa requirement for diplomatic and service passport holders from both countries. We also agreed to meet regularly to monitor the progress of our bilateral relations. This region and this continent are rising together and we are coming closer and closer to the freedom, the security, and the prosperity that our people deserve. But we will achieve that freedom, that prosperity, and that security only if we lift each other up. None of us can do it on our own. We will either rise together or fall separately. If Somalia prospers, so too does Kenya. If Somalia is peaceful, so too is Kenya. It is therefore upon us to do all we can to help each other secure these goods for our people. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how we will lift each other. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the focus of our talks. I don't have to tell you that a country, many of whose people have been displaced, is a country still at risk of unrest or worse. Again, we all know the strength, the enterprise, and the optimism of Somalia's people. As neighbors, ours is to stand with them and with their country. And that is why we have discussed deeply with President Mohammed, convinced that we can work together to rebuild their nation and secure our joint prosperity. We will also tomorrow continue with our discussions as we continue with the EGAD Special Summit on Durable Solutions for Somalia Refugees, which is indeed it is our pleasure to host. With those few remarks, let me also add just a little point there, that Al-Shabaab remains ready and continues to kill many Somalis, many Kenyans, and we have agreed that we must continue our fight against these evil criminals until they are no longer a threat. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I can only say that the discussions that we have had with my brother have been excellent, and I strongly, strongly believe that we have set a reset button and that if we continue in the manner that we have started today, I have no doubt we shall be able to achieve great things for our two countries. So finally, Mr. President, let me welcome you to make a few remarks to these good people here. Karibu sana. Thank you, Mr. President. Let me begin by thanking you and the great people of Kenya for hosting us and providing us with outstanding hospitality and reception. It's indeed a pleasure for me to be here today, Mr. President. Today is a new day. We discussed how our two brethren countries can work together to grow and prosper together. Kenya is one of the Somali's strongest ally and partners in East Africa, from hosting the largest number of Somali refugees for decades and contributing the peace building and stability in Somalia through AMSOM. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Kenyan government and the Kenyan people for the sacrifices they have made to help Somalia. 
cooperation between our two great nations is necessary to combat the challenges we face, including terrorism and poverty. This state visit is a continuation of close cooperation between our two countries in security, investment, and trade. Close economic cooperation between Somalia and Kenya will, only, will not only help to improve the lives of our millions of people, but also it will also enhance the security situation in East Africa. Therefore, my government is ready to work very closely with your government in the realization of full economic cooperation between our two nations. Mr. President, when it comes to trade, I believe that the answer is not only to remove barriers to trade, but it also to do trade right, making sure that it has strong labor standards, strong environmental standards that address ways in which the rights of the ordinary people of both countries are protected. Your Excellence, our cooperation is, in, is indeed critical to our historic relationship and our continuous effort to fight against the insecurity and poverty. I wanted to thank you for making the flights from Mogadishu to Nairobi. Starting in two weeks, we will welcome that and we really appreciate and that shows that we have a new beginning of both countries to enhance the development of trade and economic growth. And I thank you for, for your hospitality. President Uhuru Kenyatta and Somali President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo have just finished giving their address uh, on uh, the kind of bilateral conversations or bilateral talks they have been having since the morning. And of course, uh, the issues revolve around security and trade between the two countries. Among the things that have been given priority, of course, is security and trade. President Uhuru Kenyatta says in the next two weeks they will be launched. Um, direct flights uh, between Nairobi and uh, Mogadishu to enhance the uh, cooperation and trade between the two countries. They will continue partnering 